Look, Windows 11 is great, but it's missing some really obvious features. And honestly, Microsoft probably isn't going to add them anytime soon. So today I'm showing you five free apps that fix exactly that. These aren't bloated or complicated. They are simple, they work, and you will actually use them. But first, if you want more Windows tips like this, hit that subscribe button and drop a like. It genuinely helps me make more of these videos. So without any further ado, app number one is the Windows 11 weather app replacement. So remember, this this is how the Windows 11 stock weather app actually looks like. Now, in my opinion, it looks nothing like the Windows 11 Fluent design. So you can see here that it also has the ads and the whole UI, I think, looks actually bloated. So this is where this super clean and minimal Fluent weather app comes into the play. So this one actually does have the Windows 11 Fluent design standards. And you can see here the location, then we have the degrees, daily forecast, hourly forecast, weather other insights. Overall, I think this is much better replacement to this default Windows 11 weather app. And you guys can get this one from the Microsoft store. And for every single app I will mention today in this video, I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. So if you go here to the settings of this weather app, you can change the units, of course, time format, turn off the acrylic effects. And you can also put this one to five minute auto refresh. So every five minutes, it will refresh the weather data. Now, I think this is much better alternative to the Windows 11 stock weather app. The second app is your default web browser replacement and it's called Helium Browser. And this one is privacy focused ad blocking browser and you guys can get it from this website and I'm also going to put it in the video description down below. Now this browser is available on Linux, Windows and also Mac OS and it has this super cool extension already built in. So it's called uBlock Origin. However, this one was actually modified so it works on the latest Chromium releases. So yeah, pretty much I highly recommend this browser and it also has some really cool features built in. So for example, if you go here to the three dots, you can go here to customize Helium and down below here, this is my favorite feature. If you enable this open in split view option, so whenever you have, for example, one website here, and then if I go here to the new tab, we can do a split view. And now you can see that it has this split view built in and it's super cool. Overall, very nice browser with the ad blocking in the first place. And it's only developed by the two developers and they push out the updates quite regularly. So I highly recommend installing this application as your default web browser. Now, the next app will add a ton of the customizations to Windows 11. For example, here, if I hover my mouse over the icons here down below, you can see that it has this really nice effect. Now, this is achievable by installing this application. It's called Windhawk, and you guys can get this application from their website. Now, here you can see that it has a ton of the customizations. Now, here I have this one installed. It's called Taskbar Doc Animation, and the taskbar will look like this. So it has this really nice bouncy effect. However, you can can also go here to the explore page and install many more of the modifications. For example, this one, Windows 11 Start Menu Styler, we can go here to the details and click on install here. And what this one will do, it will allow us to customize Windows 11 Start Menu. So for example, we can go here to the settings and under the theme, we can pick whichever we like. For example, this one, Translucent Start Menu, then click on Save Settings. And uh, this is how the Start Menu right now looks like. And this is not all. You can go here to homepage once again and install this one, which is called Taskbar Styler. And then you can go here to the settings and also change the theme right here. For example, here we can enable this one right here. It's called Window Glass. This one looks absolutely crazy. This is what the Taskbar right now looks like, much better than the one before. And here you will find plenty of other themes as well. For example, Matter, we can do this one. And in my opinion, it looks much better than before. And it also has a ton more of the modifications you can install, for example, taskbar labels for Windows 11, vertical taskbar for Windows 11, and stuff like that. Overall, I think if you are into the customizing Windows 11, I think you should definitely install this application. So the next app is called Raycast. And what it actually does, if you click on Alt plus space, it will open here this input field where you can search for apps and also commands. So for example, here, if we calculate some things, for example, six minus two, you can see that it actually calculates itself. However, you can also open the apps with it. So for example, if I open here the Edge browser, you can see the results here and you can open your application 
but it also has a lot more features than that. So for example, if I open here the Helium browser, we can here activate the Raycast and down below what we're going to find here. So for example, center half, we can do this. And you can see here how it actually resize the window. And we'll find Raycast settings here. If you go to the system tray, you can right click on it and then here select the settings. And for example, here you can change the window modes for from expanded to compact. And then this one also has AI built in and it uses a ton of the models. So for example, by default, this is set to GPT-5 mini, but if you want to also upgrade and use many other models as well. And then here we have the applications, as I said before, it can also calculate things. Then it also has clipboard history, developer options, emojis. You can also install extensions if you want. So if you click on Alt plus space, you can go here to the store from the Raycast. And then here you will find plenty of the extensions like YouTube, IP geolocation, GIF search, form adjacent, remove paywall, GitHub, and stuff like that. So overall, I think if you really need a launcher, which you can use to launch applications, do some of the commands or even calculations, you should definitely install Raycast. And I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. Now, the last app on the list is called Quick Look. And what it actually does, if we go, for example, here inside the file explorer, if I select here this image and click space on it, it will open this simple preview. So with this app, you can click space on any of the files, almost any of the files, and it will show you here the content. So this one works on the images, but you can also do this on the zip file as you can see here, it opened the preview of the zip files. And for example, also here, you can see the preview of the folder. And now if you go here to the settings, you will find this quick look running here inside the system tray. You can right click on it and here, make sure that you select find new plugins. And this will open this website where you can also add additional formats to open the preview of the files from. So for example, we have APK viewer, we have Fitz viewer and many others like the folder viewer and torrent viewer as well. So pretty much, I think you should definitely install this application. Now this one you can install from the GitHub page and also from the Microsoft store. So yeah, I think it's definitely cool thing to have this preview option. So it's actually imported from the Mac OS, but you can see that it works quite nicely. So yeah, this have been pretty much five of the apps, which I highly recommend to any Windows 11 user. And I will also put a link for every single app in the video description down below. And by the way, if you need a brand new wallpaper for your desktop setup, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description down below. It will take your desktop to a whole new level. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next one.